And today, I've come to the commercial hobnob of Stockport to test customer service skills. You're unbelievable. What do you think of customer service in Stockport? Customer service, friendliness behind the counter. Uh, something's good, something's bad. Have you got any particular nasty, horrible stories? Not really, no. Apart from uh, going into uh, Argos and Hyde. There's... What was that? I made an inquiry at the counter, and uh, she said I'll have to telephone uh, the uh, head office about. <gasps> Uh, you will have to go to the other counter to do that. I said, well, what's the the telephone now? Yeah, believe He said, I'm dealing with a customer. I said, well, I'm a customer, a potential customer. No, you'll have to go to the other counter. They'll telephone. I said, why can't you telephone? That's bloody so scandalous, though. So I just walked out to the It's counter. the big, big sale at JGB Sports. Let's go inside. You're unbelievable. Have you known really horrible stories about nasty shopkeepers? <laughs> Don't know anything. What's this phone? Yeah. See ya, thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get enough sleep? <laughs> no. No. You. <laughs> <laughs> Royal Mail, disgusting Royal Mail. What do you do there? <laughs> what do you do there? Just a Jody. Hi, Jody. Jacket. Jacket. How do you do that? Yeah. What do you do in what do you do in Royal Mail? Did you like like stamped? No, no, no. You answer the phone to people's complaints, all that kind of thing. Oh, tell me some really juicy complaints. You're unbelievable. A man rang up one day and he asked. A man. Man, I can't remember. A man rang up and he said, what, what, what could we do about this um, woman across this postman? I said, why, what's wrong with him? They complained about postman, you see. He said the postman had um, gone to this, with a parcel to this house and the lady had answered the door and seen through night in. Oh! What were you going to do about it? Now, what can we do about that? I believe it! See? Hi. No milk today, please. <laughs> I don't know if you've been assaulted by a, a, a checkout operator at Tesco's. I mean, I used to work for him. Did you? Yeah. And you, and you asked the customer story. Like, come on, it's gratuitous. I used to be a security guard in there. There's plenty of them. Did you? Hello. So. Right. <laughs> Have you got any really juicy, horrible, nasty, violent, swearing stories you can tell by the camera? <laughs> well, I thought you were like young lads, you're supposed to be like hip! And oh, 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 oh. <laughs> just ask you, what do you like to play with? What would I like to play Your favourite plaything. <laughs> now you watch is it yours? Uh, yeah, I ask you. I don't know at the moment. All the kids, the grandchildren. It's all Power Rangers and Thunderbirds. And that's what I'm playing with at the moment. It's bloody ridiculous! Phoning somebody up and he stood there waiting with his hard-earned money and his baseball cap and his glasses! <laughs> it's ridiculous! It's baby boy. What do you really like? Tractor. Big tractor. Big tractor. Unbelievable. What's it like? <laughs> Not today. <laughs> when then? Well, your hat. What's wrong with my hat? It's terrible. It's disgusting. <laughs> so it's plain to me that nobody in Stockport has the faintest idea 
You're unbelievable.